Everyone, so this video is going to be a little collective haul. I haven't got tons of stuff, but these are just a few bits and bobs that I've um, bought over the past month, I suppose. Um, some of them were birthday presents that I got last month as well, because it was my birthday. And then some of them are just little things that I've picked up here and there. Nothing particularly exciting or anything like that, but I thought I'd show you anyway, because I haven't done a haul in ages. I'm not really a haul type of person. I don't watch other people's hauls when they hit my subscription box, really. And um, I don't particularly love filming them, but I just got a couple of bits that were quite interesting, so I thought I'd share those with you. The first thing is something that I mentioned in my favourites video, and they are these shoes. Now, I mentioned in that favourites video that these were a pound, and they were from Tesco's. And a couple of you messaged me and asked me which Tesco's it was and that you couldn't find them. And when I went back, because I wanted to get a pair for my sister, they were all sold out. So I think I just got a lucky bargain with those, but I think they're just really cute and even if I never wear them for a pound it doesn't really matter I thought they were a complete bargain and just really cute so that's those then um, I bought a, another thing which is a constant source of amusement to everyone around me but I have a real problem finding pyjamas that I like I'm not a pyjama girl I sleep in nighties I love wearing nighties and that's just what I like but when it gets cooler, it's too cold to do that and you need pyjamas and you need to be a bit more covered up. And I find it really, really hard to pick pyjamas that I like. If someone just buys me pyjamas, then I'll just wear them and I'm not overly fussed. But if I have to pick them, I find it really difficult to pick them because I don't like pyjamas. I don't think they're particularly pretty and I just don't really like them. So I find it really hard to pick a bear. And the other thing is that onesies are so fashionable at the moment and... For the love of God, I cannot understand why. I know they're probably really comfortable and really snug and really warm, but I just think they look weird and I think they kind of look a little bit kinky, especially the men's ones, and I just really don't like them. So anyway, I've had a complete mission trying to find a pair of pyjamas that I liked. So I went into Primark yesterday determined to just buy a pair of pyjamas. And I was looking over them and I managed to pick a pair in the end. And I wanted a pair that was long sleeve top and some just plain pyjama bottoms. So the bottoms look like this, it was a set, it cost £8 I think, and I bought it in a large stupidly because I thought oh it'll be you know baggy and it'll be comfy, but I've just seen that their large is actually a UK size 16 to 18 and I'm a size 10, so that's like a lot, million sizes bigger than I actually needed, but it doesn't really matter because you can just draw the waist in. But these are the bottoms, they're just kind of like printed, it's kind of like a leopard print but it's not too in your face, and they're a nice colour. So I got those, and then the top is just a, I've worn these last night, that's why they're kind of a little bit messy, but the top is just a grey long sleeve top, and it's really comfortable. But again, I shouldn't have gotten it in the size that I did, I should have gotten a small, but I don't know, I always get the bigger size and everything, I think I'm just a bit warped with sizes. So those were the pyjamas I got, I wore them last night, they are really comfortable, and um... If you're looking for nice pyjamas, then I have looked everywhere over the past week or so, trust me. And Primark, I think, had the kind of cutest ones. And they were really expensive because I don't tend to spend a lot on pyjamas because I don't actually wear them that often. Then the next thing is a top that I got for my birthday from my mum, I think it was. And it's this beautiful top from Zara. I haven't worn it yet, still got the labels on. And it's just this beautiful lace. Um, kind of camisole style top but then the bottom's kind of got different material on it and it's got the black lace at the sides and in your cleavage area and it's just really really beautiful it would look amazing with a black blazer and some jeans which is how I'm going to wear it but um, it's something that you need to kind of dress carefully and try and find the right bra to wear with it and it's a little bit kind of tricky to style so I haven't worn that yet and also it's incredibly thin and it's been very cold so I haven't worn that yet then the next thing is a pair of earrings. I've only got one here to show you, but I got these pair of earrings from Accessorize and they're just these little kind of um, bow style earrings with little pearls everywhere and they look really pretty. And you know I love earrings like this because I feel like they're not too in your face, but they kind of catch the light nicely and they're really pretty. Then um, I've got a couple of sort of makeup skincare type of bits. 
in a bag right here to share with you. The first thing I got is the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Coal in the new jade. I can't remember if this has got a name, but this is what it looks like anyway. And I'm wearing it in my waterline today. It's basically a nude liner and it's the only high street brand, apart from Oon, I think, that do a nude eyeliner because you can get them from Chanel and you can get them from MAC and Clinique do one. So it's not technically a liner, it's a concealer, but I use it as a liner. And um, I just really wanted to try it because so many people have been talking about it and it is really, really nice. And I'm not sure how long lasting it is because I haven't worn it for a full day yet, but it's a nice colour and it's very, very inexpensive. So I picked one of those up. Then I also picked up a new cleanser because I ran out of my Slip and Glory Peaches and Clean and I love the fact that that's got AHAs in it and it's quite smoothing so I wanted something similar. So I picked up the Darren Mekon Clinically Active Skincare AHA Active Radiance Cleanser. And just a little tip for you, I bought mine in TK Maxx because it was £6 cheaper than buying it in Superdrug and Superdrug's where they normally stock it and they also have a couple of other bits in TK Maxx in my local TK Maxx and in one that's not very local to me I've been to two and they've had them in both so I picked this up and it's basically got AHAs in it and it kind of helps to exfoliate and renew your skin I've only used it a couple of times I haven't formed an opinion of it as of yet but I picked that up then I also picked up a hair product and this is the Charles Worthington Front Row Rough and Tussled Salt Spray and it's basically a sea salt spray for your hair. I used it last night and I've kind of put a little bit in my hair today but I need to play around with it and kind of see what I think about it. I haven't formed an opinion yet but I picked that up from Boots. Then another thing I picked up from Boots was a new um, toner because I've got the old version of this and I'm almost out and I love this toner and it's the Boots Botanics All Bright Clen Cleansing Toner. But this is the new packaging of Boots Botanics. It's really inexpensive. I think it's about £3 and um, it's a really, really lovely toner. I love using this at night. I use a kind of spritzing toner at night and then one like this in the evening. Um, yeah, I use a spritzing toner in the morning and then more like this in the evening on a cotton wool pad and I am going to do an updated skincare routine soon because I'm really loving my skincare. But I just picked the new version of this up. I'm presuming it's the same as the other one. None of the reviews said it was any different because I know some of the products have changed slightly but really I'm looking forward to trying that. Then um, I've just got a bag here that's got all the bits I picked up in. Then I bought a body butter and this is the really inexpensive Bodylicious body butter. And I did a video about this about a year ago I think, comparing it to the Body Shop body butter and I will link that video in the down bar for you to go have a look at. But I thought I'd pick another one of these up just because I hadn't used the body butter from them for a really long time and I've only ever used one. So I picked up the cocoa scented one and you can buy these in Savers and you can buy these in Poundland. So they are a complete budget buy. This is kind of like a budget themed, well actually no, the thing I'm going to show you in a minute isn't. But it comes in this kind of tub and then that's what it looks like. I'm not sure why a cocoa scented body butter needs to be orange, I don't see how that kind of goes, but it smells very cocoa like and it kind of smells like shea butter a little bit, it smells like the Body Shop shea butter body butter. But this is a pound and I adore the Body Shop body butters, I think they're amazing but I also think that they're incredibly overpriced for what they are. So I thought I'd give this another go, I do really like it, I will still buy the Body Shop ones but I just thought it was nice to kind of try something like this. You can never kind of go wrong with a bargain buy. Then, um, what other things have I got in here? Just trying to make sure that I get everything. Okay. Then I've got a new um, charm for my Pandora bracelet that my boyfriend got me for my birthday. And this is something that I don't ever tend to buy myself. I just forget that I've even got, you know, that I need to buy charms for it. And so he bought me this little charm right here, which is a love letter. Don't know how well you can see what it actually is. It's got a little heart on it. But I got that and um, it's really pretty and it's kind of sentimental. Then, uh, what else have I got in there? Oh, right, okay. This is something that I think um, a lot of you will find quite cute. Primark do candles and I've never bought their candles because I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to candles. I like nice candles. But I wanted to buy one for my bedroom that I could burn kind of 
just during Christmas months, if that makes sense. And this one was from Primark and it was really inexpensive. And it's their Primark Home Vanilla Bean Scented Candle. I don't know how well this burns. I don't know if, you know, the scent lasts really long or if it kind of dips, but um, the smell of this is lovely. It's not too vanilla -y. It kind of smells like a body lotion, my boyfriend says, and it really does. But, um, yeah, I really, really like that. I think it's really Rather, nice. My camera cut out on me again. I don't know what's up with it today. It's like technology's against me. But, um, yeah, so I also went and had my skin matched with the number seven, um, what is it called? The Their foundation matcher thing. Um, which basically Lisa Eldridge just come up with and it kind of takes a photo of all the different tones in your skin and then it matches you to a um, foundation. And I think it's a lovely idea. I just wish that it wasn't just for number seven foundations because I feel like that kind of limits you a little bit. But I was matched to the colour Deeply Ivory and they kind of fill out your info. And then there's a colour, um, there's a picture over here of Lisa Eldridge. Really lovely. Then um, I asked if they had samples and she said that they don't do samples but that she's got a little pot and she'll put a little bit of the tester in for me, which she did, which was very, very kind of her. She was a really, really lovely girl, the girl on the number seven counter that I went to. And she gave me a very, very generous sample of their foundation, um, their Stay Perfect foundation because I've got the Stay Matte foundation. Is it Stay Matte or Beautifully, Beautifully Matte it's called? So I wanted to try a little different one. So she gave me a generous sample of that. So I'm going to try that and if I like it, I might go and purchase it. And then I also got a sample of a Dior foundation because I saw the advert of it. And I wanted to try it for a really long time. And it's the Dior Forever foundation in the shade 020. And it's just a little sample like this. And contrary to the number 7 counter girl, the counter girl at Dior was not particularly nice and um, yeah I don't know what she was just a little bit unfriendly and a little bit miserable and she didn't even like check that the colour was the right colour for me she just looked at me and then handed me and said that should do it and she didn't even test it so I don't know about that but um, that's a little sample of the Dior Forever foundation because I wanted to give that a little bit of a go. The other foundation that, let me know if you've had this, that I really, really, really want to try is the Estee Lauder Maximum Cover Foundation. It's meant to cover everything, cover pigmentation and everything, and I really, really want to try it. But I just can't seem to get hold of a sample of it. And I've had Estee Lauder Doubleware before, and I've had Estee Lauder Doubleware Light, and I just find that the colours that Estee Lauder do are really, really not right for my skin they just really don't look natural on my skin for some reason so i don't want to buy it and then not use it because i've got double wear and double wear like sat in my makeup collection that i never even use so i don't want to have to use those um if they're not going to i don't want to have to buy it just to see if i like it or not and if the colors are okay me i really want a sample of it but for some reason every counter i go to they always say that they don't do samples of the um, maximum cover but other people have told me that they've got samples so I don't know what's up with that let me know if, you, if you've gone to a counter and managed to get a sample of the maximum cover foundation because I really want to try it and then last but not least I've got two books here that were both um, birthday presents from, from my boyfriend the first one is love letters of great men which is just a collection of love letters by really famous men, people like Napoleon, and um, I think there's even some like by Mozart, but it's just people like um, Beethoven and Napoleon, and basically, you know, great men from history, and their love letters to women in their lives over the years, and it's just really lovely to kind of read and look, and in an era where you think romance is dead, it just kind of reminds you that it was there at one point. My boyfriend doesn't ever write me love letters, though. And um, then the other one is the J.K. Rowling novel, which is A Casual Vacancy, and I bought, um, I was going to buy this, I didn't buy this, and then my boyfriend bought me it for my birthday, and I'm kind of that far into it, I haven't read it for a couple of days actually, because I've been really busy, but I am really enjoying it, I haven't made up my mind um, as to what I think about it yet, but um, I will let you know how I'm getting on with it once I have finished it. So that's my haul, I'm sorry it's kind of been really jumbled up, and I haven't fit. Yeah, 
and I was just saying I'm sorry it has been jumbled up and then the books fell from where I put them so I'm sorry it's been jumbled up and kind of messy and I haven't filmed for a couple of almost a week actually I'd kind of uploaded pre-recorded videos but I hadn't um kind of been in the zone of it and I've just been really busy so I've kind of been out of it a little bit but hopefully things will calm down a little bit and I'll be able to do it a little bit more properly but I hope you all have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't already please go and subscribe and have a look at my other videos and I will see you in my next one bye bye